Hey everybody, it's Betafish, back with some more Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Last time we did some cleanup as well as went to the Lost Woods and talked to Soraya. This time we continue on to Death Mountain and actually progress the story. It's only taken like several episodes. Okay, so the one area we never really went to in Kakariko was this one gate. And the reason for this being, that's where we're supposed to go. So, taking a look at this sign, we can see... Not that. Death Mountain. No passage without a royal decree. Back to this guy over here. The road is closed beyond this point. Can't you read the sign over there? Eh? Oh, I see. You're just a kid, and you can't read yet. <laughs> it's weird to think that some people don't know how to read. I mean, like kids and whatnot. Heck, when I first played this game, you know, or watched people play this game, I was too young to read. Anyway, show him the thing. Oh, this is... This is surely Princess Zelda's handwriting. Well, let's see. Hmm, okay. This is Link. He is under my orders to save Hyrule. <laughs> what kind of a funny game has our princess come up with now? Okay, okay, all right. You can go now. Just be careful, Mr. Hero. <laughs> and boom, it's open. Boy, was that easy. By the way, Mr. Hero, if you're going to climb Death Mountain, you should equip a proper shield. It is an active volcano, after all. If you go back to Hyrule Castle Town Market, you should check out the bazaar. They sell the shield you need there. Tell them I sent you, and they should give you a special discount. If you think you're good to go already, don't worry about it. Now, I'd like to ask a favor of you. Now, I, I don't expect you to do it just because of the great tip I just gave you. I'm just asking. Have you been to the Happy Mask shop that just opened in Hi the Hyrule Castle Town Market? Everyone is talking about it. My little boy pesters me for a popular mask, but I don't have time to go there. So, could you go and get the mask for me next time you are in the market? If you don't feel like it, that's okay, but... Well, I have no choice. This is my job. <sighs> but yeah, as he said, the Happy Mask shop in Hyrule Castle Town is now open, and it's a big ol' side quest, and we won't be doing it yet, because you can't finish it later in the story. Also, welcome to Death Mountain Trail. The best part of Death Mountain. The, the leading up to it. The suspense. Wow. Anyway, like he said, it is a good idea to equip a Hylian shield. You can get the special discount, or you can just get the one from the graveyard for free. Alright. These guys right here, they're dumb. I hate them. Red tech types. They like to jump a lot, but also you can just hurt them with this shield. And like, got them. And they take... Can I, can I hit them? Yeah, they take two hits or one jump attack, so if you can time that correctly, it makes them pretty easy to deal with. But also, playing this game is hard. Ouch. Come on, I wanna show some. There we go. Wow, I know how to play this game. Okay, that was a bad idea. Can I, can I just hit this guy? Got him, okay. Yeah, I'm not very good with dealing with him. That's why I hate them so much. Also, they're the color of red and white. Do people even like that color? Come on. Ooh, I can play this way. Boom. Ooh, I actually needed that. Woohoo! Can this song go away? I don't like this song. Ooh, what's this weird looking rock guy? I wonder what he is. I am one of the Gorons, the stone eating people who live on Death Mountain. Look at that huge boulder over there. It blocks the entrance to the Dodongo's Cavern, which was once a very important place for us Gorons. But one day, many Dodongos suddenly appeared inside the cavern. It became a very dangerous place. On top of that, a Gerudo in black armor used his magic to seal the entrance with that boulder. If you want to hear more of Goron gossip, head up to our city. Goron City is just a little way up the trail. It won't take much longer to get there, 
even on foot. Oh, I bet. Well, how about we go there then? You know, because that's what we are supposed to do. Okay, so rounding this corner over here. Take the path on that side. This side yeah, Goron City. Boom. Watch out for this guy. He's super jerk. He likes to knock you off the cliff. So mean. Alright, I'm pretty sure some of these knocks are hard to make. And there is a little rumbly spot right here. So, like, that little stone agony we got last time in the sculpture house. Yeah, that's what it's useful for. You probably can't feel that, though. Because you don't have a controller in your hands. Probably. Boom. Gora. Come on, speak. Oh, I'm so hungry. Everyone feels faint from hunger because of the food shortage in this town. We are in danger of extinction. It's all because we can't enter our quarry, the Dodongo's Cavern. We Gorons live on a diet of rocks. And the most delicious and nutritious rocks around here are found in the Dodongo's Cavern. But that seems like ancient history now. We've become such gourmets that we can't stand to eat rocks from anywhere else. Uh, I want to eat the top soil and rocks from the Dodongo's Cavern. I mean, when it comes down to starvation, you could just eat one of these rocks. Whoa, look at that absolute unit. Whoa. Alright, and then heading in here to the middle. I wasn't actually able to do this until I was, like, pretty old doing this. But, like, did not have to fall forward on my controller. Those ropes are hard. Hey, it's dangerous for a little kid like you to come out here. You might fall down. Which is exactly what I did as a kid. If I'm not mistaken, you came out here to eat the redstone. Well, too bad. It's not here. What? That's not why you're here? You're looking for a spiritual stone? You must mean that delicious looking red stone that was once displayed here. I was so hungry that I thought it would be okay just to give it one tiny little lick. So I snuck out here, but it was already gone. I think Big Brother took it away. He always says that everyone is after that red stone. Big Brother has shut himself in his room saying, I will wait in here for the royal family's messenger. Hey, that's exactly what we are. How about it? Okay. So the way this city is structured is it's all on different levels, and I can never navigate my way around here, despite having played this game several times. You know, there's that. What do you gotta say? Big Brother has shut himself in his room, saying, I will wait in here for the royal family's messenger. Already heard that. So, what does this say? Soft carpet. Whoa. Okay. Anyway. That's it. Okay. So, if we play the song. Boom, it's open. So, play the song with the royal family, and boom, we got it. Go team. Speak. What the heck? Who are you? When I heard the song of the royal family, I expected their messenger had arrived, but. You're just a little kid. Has Darunia, the big boss of the Gorons, really lost so much status to be treated like this by his sworn brother, the king? Now I'm really angry. Get out of my face now. Are you asking why I'm in such a bad mood right now? Ancient creatures have infested the Dodongo's cavern. We've had a poor harvest of our special crop, bomb flowers. Starvation and hunger because of the rock shortage. But this is a Goron problem. We don't need any help from strangers. Wow, someone sounds angry. I think they need a little bit of... Best song ever. Come on, come on, come on! Hot! What a hot beat. Whoa! Yeah! Yahoo! Hey, what a nice tune. 
Just like that, my depression is all gone. If only it was that easy. Something just came over me. I suddenly wanted to dance like crazy. I am Darunia. I'm the big boss of the Gorons. Was there something you wanted to ask me about? What? You want the spiritual stone of fire too? The spiritual stone of fire, also known as the Goron's ruby, is our race's hidden treasure. But hold on, I'm not going to just give it to you that easily. If you want it so badly, why don't you go destroy the monsters inside of the Dodongo's cavern and prove you're a real man. That way, everyone will be happy again. If you do it, I will give you anything you want, even the spiritual stone. I have something for you. I'm not really giving you this in return for anything, but take it anyway. If you wear this, even a little fella like you can pick up a bomb flower using A. How do you know what A is? And boom, we got the Goron's bracelets. Now we're like stronger. Whoa, who needs exercise? So using this, we can now pick up things like bomb flowers, grass. We can already pick up rocks for some reason, but not weeds. I don't know. Okay, well, he's got these pots on here. I can't remember if they have anything else. Ooh, Deku sticks. Pick me up. Ouch. Got another one. Ooh, two, two sticks. Okay, so using these Deku sticks, we're gonna light these torches, and then run out to the unlit torches that were out here, if you remember those. Wow. I only got two, so... Come on, let's light this boy. Why, Why is this camera being wonky? Like that. That, like that, and that's it. <laughs> oh, that's good. Ah, oh, I love it when that happens. Ah, oh, so good. So yeah, now this thing is spinning, which we will do stuff with. Okay, so we will do a quick tour around here, but we're not going to be doing everything because we can't yet. Ooh, more deficits. Very good. Oh. We don't get many visitors way up here. Where are you from? The forest? What's a forest? Hey? It's where a lot of trees and plants grow? Now I'm even more confused. Nothing grows around here besides the bomb flowers. We don't have seeds or nuts around here either. Even Deku sticks are very scarce around here. I know a trick to conserve sticks. If you light a stick on fire, it will burn to ashes. Press A to put it away before it completely burns. By the way, I hit a stick somewhere. Hee hee hee. No, it's not funny. But yeah, I mean, we got all these deck sticks now. I always have zero, so I can bop things with them. Okay, so this is a bomb flower. So pick it up, and then we run over here. And got good aim. Like I don't. But then, yeah, you get that. Okay, and you're supposed to try to knock it in. Anyway, I think you can also... Can you like these? Yes, you can. Okay. Get, get that away. Okay, so blowing up this bomb right here. Look up this, which I believe is a... Store. Yeah, okay. Goron shop. Welcome. Okay, so we got this. Goron tunic. Red potion. Hearts. We don't really need any of this. Bombs. Why not? We can't even hold bombs yet. So yeah, there's that. Not the most useful story, but it is what it is, I suppose. Okay, let's go get some more bombs. And make sure you cut your man. I got a sniff. <coughs> bombs! I'm probably going to speed this up because this always takes me a billion tries.
who. Okay. And this is my favorite part. Because it all comes down to luck of if you get to that face, I believe. Woohoo! I did that first try. Only that could happen. Thank you. But yeah, uh, you gotta get it to land on that face. And then you get a piece of heart. So this is piece of heart number. Come on, I have this written down right next to me. Heart, piece of heart number 10. Light all the torches, get your thing spinning, and boom, throw a bomb. Okay. Uh, I do want to get some Deku sticks because there's a thing to light over here. Hopefully I can go fast. Boom. And then light the other one. Does this do anything? I guess not. I don't know. I swear it does, but... I was Big Brother. I see. By the way, you know the music coming down from deep inside this tunnel? We all like this music, so... If we head down this tunnel... Whoa, what song is that? So, if we pick up a bomb flower and drop it... Any second now. Boom! Everything blows up, and if we go through here... It is a secret portal to the Lost Woods somehow. I mean, I don't know how we just travel that fast. Like, pull up the map, it's like... All the way up there. All the way down there. In like, three seconds. I don't know. But there it is. So, if you didn't get Sarai's song earlier, you can get it here. The only hard part is the rocks blocking the way, and you gotta light the torches so you can knock these off the wall. I've just always done it in this order I have done it here, because then you can do all the stuff in the back. Here we go. I don't know. But it all works just fine. Okay, so heading on up over here. Let's see. Alright, this is the green level. This is the one with giant rolling gore on dude. Yep, so he just kind of does his thing. There is something we can do with him later, but we will do this later. Okay, this wall right here we will not worry about, because... Not really worth it at this point. Uh, we will do this soon, though. Nope, nope. Bad boy. Alright, heading on up right here. This is big ol' lava room. I don't want to catch on fire, so I'm not about that life. And then we are back up top. Okay, so... Now we just gotta go outside. And then it's to the Dodongo Tavern. Okay, so if we go around here and to the right, start to this guy. Okay, this guy first. Natural wonder, bomb flower, danger, do not have root. Talk to No, talk to the, the guy. I'm standing here to shade the bomb flowers from the sun. But they're plants, don't they need sunlight? Well, ask for bomb flowers. These plants growing over there are bomb flowers. They are mining plants that grow only on this mountain. The flower's fruit is the raw material for bombs. But a non-Goron amateur should never pick the bomb flower's fruit. They usually grow only in dark places, so bomb flowers that grow in places like this are extremely rare. Okay, that... Yeah, I didn't know that. Okay, cool. And, okay. Ask about the dumb girl's cabin. Did you see the cavern on your way up here? That is the Dodongo's cavern. Because the light inside is very dim, the bomb flowers, a plant unique to this mountain, grow like crazy in there. Okay, well, there's a giant bomb in front of it, or not, not giant rock, and oh, look, it's a bomb, and uh, I think we know what to do. No. Yeet. Kabloom. And there goes that side. Who needed that? And we did it. Okay, and other thing is you can see there's a piece of heart. We're not supposed to get this yet, but if you... Come on. Nope, I'm gonna get blown up. Not about that life. Hurry up. But if you do a sweet backflip... Oh, well, I missed it, but you can't actually backflip up there. And get it, but I won't do that, because that's cheating. Also, there's a big old dirt pile. So, bug time. I don't have any bugs. Okay. Time to go get some. And I do want to shock that, yeah, we can pick up your ass now. For all this shit. Buggos. Catch 
catch another one of these guys. Give me one later, because we shot them well. Give me a gold sculptula. No, that's not allowed. That's stupid. Idiot. Woohoo, gold sculptula. And that is 21. Okay, well, that's going to be everything for this episode. So, I'll be seeing you guys next time, and we'll be going into Dodongo's Cavern. Bye!